Due to the recent events transpiring during the Western Conference Finals involving Ben, I thought there was no better time to continue this mini-series. In case you haven't watched part one or don't know a lot about the Dallas Stars captain, well, let's just say he's prone to losing his temper on ice as Ben, since joining the league in 2007, has racked up more than his fair share of jerk moments. In this video, we're going to go over an additional handful of jerk moments from the forward, while of course, including the cross-check against Mark Stone. And with that, here are five more jerk moments from Jamie Ben. Obviously, as we usually do in this series, we're starting off with something a little lighter of a moment than what we'll finish with. And this particular jerk moment took place in the Windy City against the Chicago Blackhawks. Close to the start of the final period between the two teams in February of last year, it was possible that Mackenzie Entwistle was seeing stars himself after taking a hit. Compliments of Michael Roffel, Entwistle's head briefly became acquainted with the boards. However, it was as he was skating back to his respected bench was when Ben decided to rub some salt in the wound, as Ben could be shown intentionally spraying his opponent with whatever he had occupying his Gatorade bottle at the time. Following the Stars' win in Chi-Town, Ben was given a slap on the wrist by the league due to his actions, as Ben was fined $5,000 for what was deemed unsportsmanlike conduct. What may be considered the funniest moment on this list took place in Alberta. Well, it was probably comical for those observing, with the exception of Zach Hyman, of course. After some chaos broke out in the corner, the officials appeared to be distracted and missed what transpired behind the scenes. As Ben and Hyman were far removed from the scene where the action was, they seemed to be watching from a distance. However, despite looking like they were having a moment of simply coexisting, it was anything but. While Hyman was looking on, Ben sneakily lifted his stick and slashed Hyman's right out of his hand, for no reason. As Hyman was picking up his twig, Ben proceeded to instigate further and tried to sucker punch his opponent from behind. Even though the referees did catch the tail end of the altercation, they didn't see enough to successfully give Ben a penalty. While the last two moments were classless, but once you could probably laugh off, this one and the next two are anything but. During the final seconds in a game that took place during March of last year, things took a scary turn for defenseman John Carlson. Originally, the race for the puck transpired due to the fact that Carlson missed a pass from a teammate on the blue line. In an effort to retrieve it, the defenseman became involved in a foot race in the cap's end against Jamie Benn. In an effort to prevent Carlson from getting the puck, Ben could be shown cross-checking his opponent, which caused him to fly into the boards. Now, for a player who's getting paid millions of dollars to play the sport, I think we all can agree that Ben, in fact, knew what he was doing. Considering the speed and the angle that Carlson was going in, he had to know that his actions would hypothetically put his opponent in an unsafe position. Also, it's puzzling as to why Ben would even stoop to this level, especially considering that he wasn't preventing a potential empty net goal. Regardless, the play went uncalled and Ben received zero discipline for his actions. Coming into Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals, one could surmise that the Stars still had a chance at this point. The series was at home, and at the game's start anyways, things still seemed like they'd be relatively competitive. However, the Stars' captain apparently had other plans for the game than helping his team win, a much-needed playoff contest. Around two minutes into the game, that was one to nothing Vegas, Ben met up with Mark Stone near center ice. The two, who firstly were in puck pursuit, began to engage. Well, it was more one-sided than anything, as Ben firstly interfered with Stone, which caused him to fall to the ice. And it was directly after that, Ben cross-checked the Knights' captain in the jaw while he was in a vulnerable position. Now, as you'll quickly realize, there's a lot of layers to this one. Once the play was reviewed, it was decided that Ben was going to be receiving a five-minute major and getting ejected from the contest. However, unlike most captains in the league who try to be an example for other players to look up to, Ben took the cowardly way out. Instead of staying behind to answer questions after his team lost to Vegas 4-0, Ben left American Airlines 
front center entirely and could be shown driving away in his luxury SUV. The media did get to hear his thoughts about the incident though on the following day. Obviously, didn't want to take a five minute penalty, but when the game happens fast, emotions are high, he says. I would have liked to not fall on him and I guess use my stick as a landing point. I don't even know how my stick ended up there. He said. Well, anyone with a working brain and eyes can clearly see Ben intentionally using the forceful extension of his arms while he's making direct eye contact with Stone. And as you'd expect, NHL player safety didn't believe a single word of his excuse of an excuse, as Ben was dealt a two-game suspension for his actions. In case you were wondering why the Stone moment wasn't at number one. Well, Stone didn't have to go to the hospital after Ben was finished with him. Nearly two years ago in April of 2021, Wings captain Dylan Larkin faced a scary turn of events in Dallas. As the Stars were up 4-2 on Detroit, Larkin, who was fighting for the puck in the face-off circle, was completely blitzed by Ben as he cross-checked him in the neck. The hit itself was brutal as the contact was made when Larkin had his head down, which allowed for his neck to be injured due to impact. The play went uncalled as Ben faced no in-game discipline or supplementary discipline. Unfortunately, the injury ended Larkin's season as he spent the next eight weeks wearing a neck brace and rehabbing afterwards. Once he returned to game action, Larkin spoke about how hard it was for him during that time. It was a tough six, seven months, Larkin says. I had some tough nights and I wanted to do something about it so bad. There was so much anger. My buddies asked me to golf all summer. I couldn't go golfing. I couldn't go on boats, he says. In conclusion, it's pretty clear that Ben hasn't changed his ways in the slightest. The similarities between the Stone and Larkin incidents are shocking to say the least. But since Ben has zero remorse for what happens and hasn't shown any accountability, I think it's safe to say that he's going to continue to be the worst captain currently in the league. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I also hope you'll consider supporting me. You can do so by stocking up on your favorite NHL team's gear on Fanatics with my link or by joining my Patreon. Information for both of those methods of support will be down below, and I'll see you all next time.